Sussex No Way Make Group and Harry can connect with the royal family after their betrayal. Hello and welcome to Royal Family News. Use the YouTube channel. All right, the saying of sticks and stones can break our bones, but words can never hurt me. Is fixed only one way, you will never be killed by words thrown at you, but the damage words do is real and it's on the inside. And once those words come out, they can never be taken back. It doesn't matter how many times you apologize, then write the words down on paper and post them for everyone to read. Well, the outcome will be even worse when it comes to the royal family. Harry and Meghan are not done Meghan would never be welcome and Harry, certainly not as a working member of the company, intends to learn their secrets and become part of their daily lives, well for the first money on any intimate knowledge he gets from those conversations. So obviously they won't trust him. But at the same time, Harry may be treated with some affection if he returns to the UK as a divorced and possibly broken man as well. Someone who wanted to do his best to fix his reputation as a cheat and a liar, but who could never just undo everything he's done if he could stop whining, and instead if he could eat a big old slice, a humble pie and does a good job among the people he claims to want to help. So maybe he could earn some respect if I could give Harry some advice would tell him he needs to spend some time at the Royal British Legion Defense and Rehabilitation Center. It would be a great place for him to learn a thing or two. In fact, I think that would be a much better place for him than Africa to start. I mean after what McCung did in Africa. Does anyone on the mainland want one there? Probably not anyway. Members of the military who are at the Defense and Rehabilitation Center will know full well how neglected Harry has been since meeting Meghan Markle and he will need to do a lot to restore the trust that should remain as a patron. Of the Invictus Games I'm sure they would be more than happy to tell him exactly what they think about his past behavior and how he only really let them down when he did some real background work. Should he venture into Southern Africa? But of course, while he works to help people whose goals may include participating in the Invictus Games, he won't stop Harry from doing fundraisers at the same time, people in the UK are a bit like elephants in that they tend to have long memories and Harry really has a lot of work ahead of him. It doesn't matter what he chooses to do and where he decides to live. Meanwhile, he will always be an outcast, even though he's never heard that word before. That would probably be a good idea for good morning because that's really what he became if he ever came to the UK. Casey, again, I guess you would think people would appreciate that because a lot of people would get very polite, but of course, Harry is so stupid and socially oblivious that he wouldn't understand that English people are just nice and polite to people. They despise what has been shown cannot be invisible and Meghan and Harry have already shown who they really are. The havoc they caused cannot be hidden if they return and are accepted by the royal family, then many people will vote for a republic and many people will never dare to support the monarchy. Again. I fear it would mean the end of the monarchy if he was allowed to return as if nothing had happened, people will never accept them back. It's true now. Maybe Harry alone if he gets rid of Meghan Markle maybe he'll have a better chance but I'm not sure. Unless, of course, he can't help being seen for a while. Montecito idiots would like the idea that they've done too much damage to be part of the company, again, there's nothing stopping them from returning to the UK, but I suspect they wouldn't be welcomed by the palace or people in general. Both really taint the monarchy with their connection to it. Thank goodness they are former royals and no longer welcome. They should just fade into oblivion and leave the monarchy alone once and for all. No one wants to hear them except a few delirious sugarheads who form a tiny fan club, nor is it for them to make a truce. They are the ones who launched this all-out war against the British media, the British people, the British monarchy and above all the royal family. The only decision they can make on their own is to stop their attacks. A real truce should involve both sides. A truce also implies that there was some sort of fight, but there was never a fight in this situation. There were only crises, this so-called falling out was Harry's delirium and Meghan's little stupid game, nothing but a bunch of drama series concocted to draw the world's attention to this fanatical actress. It's so crazy that she's convinced she's Harry's reincarnated mother looking back. They really had everything when they were real, they had the glory. They had wealth. 
They had social commitments and all that was disappearing every day, now it's a fight for survival. Every penny must be earned. Every lawsuit filed to pay the paparazzi backfires. They have to invent their own media events. They must actively seek out organizations in this desperate need of publicity, it must summon delirious middle-aged American women to write this endless magazine of platitudes and people. They have to work with PR companies and even after four years they are trying to get people excited about another weird fake photo. Meanwhile, in the UK, their enemies are doing better than ever. Catherine looks amazing and Williams does amazing things and they have these wonderful kids lining up. The plane is getting too big to try to shoot down at this point, but also scary, some are convinced that William and Catherine will need the support and guidance of Harry and his award-winning wife Cosmopolitan of Racial Awakening, they will need a connection to the United States that only the two of them can provide. So let's work on it. Meghan's Royal American Vision Harry's Conscience and Diplomacy Oh yeah, quite a few team hours a week as a way of life. Oh yes, they would be a real force and to have that, the only thing the royals really have to do is apologize for the horrible things they've done, Meghan admits they were really racist that it was those colonial bigots who must have made her life hell. They must recognize the global contributions they have made to support Britain and the people of color they need to restore their royal office and everyone's allegiance. And then we can start all this mess all over again. We don't have to make their decision. I see no way for them to be part of the royal family and I think very few people if anyone in the UK would attend some sort of event where they represent the monarchy most people would prefer just seeing them fidgeting in the dark preferably as far away from the UK as possible up to this point of the wedding, the only thing we can really predict these two will do is something that will piss people off and hurt their feelings. Since calling for a truce doesn't really fall into that category, I think a big NO is the answer to that question instead. The most interesting question to me is how they ever believed it would help them to be so cruel to be so vile to be so disrespectful to others, especially when they offered lies to do so. And then, with each display of more lies as things got even deeper for both of them, we were treated to another onslaught. I mean, how stupid can two people who are clearly too stupid to seek the truth be? If you ask me is it too late to try to call a truce, I mean at this point the mentality and behavior of these two will probably never change and that's sad. What do they think would give them the right to call a truce? At this point, a respite is when two groups decide to rent. Even if it were possible, it would be such a disaster for Britain and the royal family to drag them both out to get more publicity for themselves and hopefully create this rival royal family. My God and you, what do you think of this couple? Let us know your opinion below in the comments, never fear until I can share this video with anyone else in need anytime, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel YouTube Royal Family News for any further updates in the future. Again, thank you so much for watching goodbye and we'll be back to see you all tonight.